Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jana. Here you will find a lot of different videos on products reviews, lifestyle, fashion and nursing because I'm a registered nurse. And in today's video I want to share with you guys about my dental journey that I'm going through right now. If you have been following me for some time you probably will notice now watching this video that my speech is a little bit different. That's just due to the fact that I'm wearing Invisaligns. I have started my journey of Invisaligns one week and a half ago and now it is just hard for me to pronounce some of the words it just feels so bulky in my mouth but anyway in this video i want to just highlight on prices duration of time and the plan that i have in mind in regards with my dental work and just tell you how things work in australia and how can you get things more affordable as well all right so let's just start what I wanted to do for my teeth was to change my crowns. I had crowns that are nearly 15 year old and I have done them in Egypt when I used to live there by one of the Arabic doctors and he done a pretty good job but it's been like a really long time and the crowns that I had on this side so I have four crowns on my upper jaw so the crowns that I had on this side, um, they had some food stuck in and kind of like leaked in through and I ended up having an abscess last year and as an emergency back then, my current dental doctor, he needed to drill through my crown and drain the abscess and he said to me, okay, well, I would strongly <laughs> recommend now to redo these crowns and uh, just put a new ones. And I was like, okay, cool, what dental plan do you have for the repayments? And he was like, oh, we don't have any, you can go like with the zip or up to pay, but that would just give you like a couple of thousands to play with, which is not enough. And we're talking here about doing the root canal treatment again, which starts from 1200 and above, and then put a new crown for each tooth and it's like two on this side two on that side crowns uh, mainly in australia they start from 2500 up to 3000 per one crown only and i needed to do like two here and i didn't even know if anything needs to be done on the other side so he was like that's the plan that we have and like obviously that was not enough for me. We were talking here about at least 6K to do just this side, you know? So I said to him, okay, when I have money, I will come back. And then um, I met my partner in the meanwhile and auntie of my partner, she's an orthodontist and she's working here in Gold Coast with this great doctor, Dr. Urban in a bundle smile and it's a really nice dental place and that doctor is very famous and this video is not sponsored in any way and i didn't get any discount or anything just because i was treated by the doctor and the auntie um i've paid in full but i just want to share with you my experience so um one of the days when we went to visit my partner's auntie she was like oh hey this and this doctor he's very good his job is very good the way he does things Plus we have this new robotic systems, which is very similar to Thailand, where they have these machines designing crowds and veneers literally in their office. <clears throat> in dental on a spot you just need to wait for like two hours and everything will be ready and it's a high end they have porcelain and zirconia crowns and i was like oh okay cool but my main question is what plan of repayment do you have and she was like oh we work with multiple companies as a third party companies who offer our repayment plans starting from three months and up to 24 months and it's a zero free interest i'm like okay that's cool so she said why don't you come in for the consultation we will have a look what needs to be done da, da, da. we can talk about the prices plan and I was like yeah sweet so I went there for the consultation and my main plan what I wanted to do obviously to do these two crowns and then I wanted to know what's happening with the other two and I wanted some cosmetic retouch to my teeth because my teeth never have been straight and I'll try to put for you a video here of my teeth how it looks like it's never been straight I always wanted to have a straight teeth I wanted to close the gap in front of my teeth as well and yeah do something about my bottom teeth because they all overlapping like I think four front four or six they all overlapping so I told him what I wanted to do. So he'd done the 3D scan. So they have a machine that does a 3D scan like that all around your head. And he said, okay, we will uh, do these two crowns uh, and we will do just one on the other side because one is good, another one needs to be redone because he found a little bit of decay 
uh, on a choose underneath the crown. So all in total, I've paid for my three crowns, including root canal treatment and everything, 6,600. Okay, and then he said, do not go with the veneers just right now because your teeth are not straight. If you really want to do the veneers, he said, I would recommend to invest a little bit more and do Invisaligns first. Straighten your teeth properly. I also needed to widen my upper jaw and bring my front teeth not just together, but also align it because it's a little bit up and down. One is higher, one is lower. So he said, if you want to do veneers now, I will need to file a lot of the mass of your teeth to put the veneers in because they're not straight. So he said, just do the Invisaligns and then in the end of your Invisalign journey, you will see your teeth in a completely different look. And he said, maybe you won't even want to do any veneers because he said, your teeth are fine. Like they're all nice. You just need to align them. I was like, okay, let's do that. So the Invisalign has cost me 3,900, nearly 4K. And now I will tell you what repayment plan options they have. So they work with two companies. One is called Hum. I'll put for you the name here. And the other one called Denticare. I'll put for you here. These two companies are very similar, but there is one difference between them. Both of them would give you 12K to play with. Okay, you can borrow 12,000 from them. It doesn't matter if you go full 12,000, less, whatever. This is the max they can give you, okay? They have similar uh, repayment plan times, so you can borrow it for three months, six, year, and two. Same for the other one. Max is a two years, zero interest on both of them. And then the only difference is that how you don't need to pay any deposit, okay, at all. With Denticare, they require a deposit of 30%. So I decided to go with HUM and because of the deposit, I didn't want to pay deposit of 30%. It was a big amount of money because my dental cost was over 10K. So I decided to pay 1,000 of deposit only with HUM. That was just my choice so that my repayments would be under 200 every fortnight. And then you can choose how do you want to repay. You want to repay weekly, fortnightly, or monthly. My salary comes every two weeks, a fortnightly, so I chose fortnightly. So I'm paying currently $182 every fortnight, and I took a repayment plan of two years. Okay, so it will be zero interest, which is really cool. You can take your time paying it off, so I really like it. And then also it works like after pay. For example, now, once I finish my Invisalign journey, he said, I have Invisalign Lite. It will take up about five to six months. By the time I will finish paying off uh, a certain amount of money during this five, six months, the money that I will pay off will come back to me as a credit. So it's like an afterpay. Once you pay off your debt, the money will come back to your credit and you can borrow it again. So the plan for me now is I have changed three crowns. That's been already finished. One week and a half, I have started uh, wearing my Invisalign. It's Invisalign light, but I do have adjustments. I'll try to find for you a picture on the internet how the adjustments look like. So they're literally like a little things that they stick to certain teeth that they need to work with to apply this pressure and pull to fix the rest of the teeth and then your Invisaligns they would have like a little pockets in it that would just hook on those adjustment points okay so that was just a suggestion from my dental doctor he said to me we can go without them just like Invisaligns itself that you would be putting on your teeth but the adjustment points will speed up the process and maybe you will just need to wear everything only three months in, or four months instead he said and also it just will give a better results in the end and i was like yeah that's fine let's just do the adjustment points it's a little bit uncomfortable when you have them on because once you take your den uh, dentures, <laughs> once you take your Invisaligns off, when you eat and you lick your teeth, you know, you can feel those points on top of it. So it's a little bit of discomfort, but nothing dramatic. 
um, yeah, and then once I finish wearing my Invisaligns, the whole process will be finished. We will again look at my teeth and he said, if you still want to do four veneers at the front, that's fine. So the situation with my front two teeth is that when I used to be a teenager, I was wearing old style braces, you know, like the metal ones. And I wasn't really caring about my teeth that much. So they left two little marks at the front of my teeth, which needed to be filed down a little bit, just a very tiny uh, layer of surface was taken off and I had like a cosmetic feeling at the top now this cosmetic feeling has sink a little bit down and I want it to be renewed so that's why I was thinking should I put four veneers but I wouldn't put two I would put four because I don't want to look like a bunny you know um I thought if I go with the veneers at least I would do four so the front 40s you know before your sharpie one comes it looks nice and then um yeah, so I was thinking about that or to use a compound filling, I think they called when they can fix just with the help of the filling to just shape the teeth and make it look nice and it will look the same as the color of your teeth as part of your teeth like you won't tell the difference. Okay, so that's my plan. I don't really want to like file my teeth, you know, to do the veneers because I know it's going to be permanent. So I'm not a big fan of it, but I will still consider which way I'm going to choose because I'm not going to put many veneers if I will go with the veneers. So that's the plan. If I choose filling in the end, probably it will cost me under about a thousand and a half because I will need to do like a bit of adjustments to the uh, front three maybe teeth. If I choose veneers, we're talking about 4k, four and a half because the more veneers you buy, the less will be the price per veneer. Okay, but still it's a big amount. So far, I'm owing uh, 10k, okay? So if I will be adding, that would be under maybe 14, 15, all in total. All fillings in my mouth is fine. I do fillings check every single year. So as the cleanup, I go and do cleanup once a year. That's just a must thing for me. And I think it should be for everyone anyway, because this way the doctor can examine your teeth and check whether anything has to be redone, you know, cleaned, whatever. So that's about it. I want to show you now my Invisalign package. So it comes in a bag like that, which is super cute. So this company where I go to, to Dr. Irvin, they actually designed it themselves. Then um, it comes with the box. I want to show you the front of the box, which is super cool. It tells they're uh, made to move, which is like so nice. That's the box. Once you open the box, you have here a small brochure all about Invisaligns, how to care about it and what to expect. And then here you have your small container, which you use to put your Invisaligns in. Uh, when you take it off before eating, before brushing your teeth, before drinking drinks that has color in it. So you will put it in here. And then he also has given to me three sets of different Invisaligns. Okay, I have used already one. So I went to him on Friday to my doctor and he has put for me a first set of Invisaligns. And he said to me, you will need to change a new set on each Friday. So it's one set per week. So last Friday, I have changed already my week two. Now I have left one, um, one for week three and one for week four. So I will be changing it every single Friday. And then after that, I will need to go and see my dentist and he will see what's gonna happen next. I think he will give me another set, but I don't know whether I will be changing them every week or the duration of time will be a little bit longer. I don't know. So the sets, they look like that. Um, I'll try to show you now on my teeth. So this is it. You can't really see that you have them that much unless you like really closely pay attention. You see those little points? Yes, so this is how they look like. What I can say is the first three days, three days and a half, when I just had my first set, at the dental the pain lasted for three days and a half so badly he warned me about it he said you will have pain from two days up to four days take panadol if you need to the pain guys was so bad i felt also claustrophobic i know it's it's really weird but that little thing in my mouth made me feel claustrophobic i think it's the idea that i couldn't take it off i couldn't get rid of it because 
I needed to have it on all the time in order for it to work and do the job so that's um, kind of like realization that I can't take it out was just giving me anxiety you know and it was so bad the pain was very strong and then it started to ease and it would only come back when I take it off and put it back on so that pressure again will come back you will feel that <clears throat> once you put it on that something is very pushing on your teeth it's like a pry applying pressure and they say that Invisalign is like a gentle pressure appliance no it's not it's not gentle okay the first few days it wasn't gentle at all i felt like someone was just pulling my teeth out in different directions this is how bad it was very painful then the pain has eased and also what i have noticed that towards the end of the week i would say starting from evening of wednesday towards the morning of friday when i need to change the set i felt that the set was starting to feel loose it's not falling off of your teeth it still stays intact and very tight but i felt like it's becoming a little bit loose ish i don't know how to explain it it's just not as tight because every day you can feel the tightness of it on your teeth and i spoke to my other people who i know my other friends and my followers here um, on instagram and they told me like they felt exactly the same way that it feels like it's getting a little bit loose once you put a new set on friday for me on friday oh my gosh it was so tight and so painful but the pain would only last from about five to ten minutes and then you kind of like get used to it it's nothing to compare it for the first few days when you're just starting your invisible journey every time you change a new set like the pain is very strong but it's only a couple of minutes and then it passes away and then for the first i would say two days two max three every time you would take your new set off and put it back on you will feel like very sharp pain because it feels really really tight so that's just my experience of having two sets changes so far i don't know how it will be with each and every set but i'm assuming from the experience that i have now that every set is going to be tighter and tighter because each set has more and more adjustments in it so with invisalign you have to take it off before you go to eat before you go to brush your teeth then you put it back on do not eat in it because the food will go into the spaces obviously so you don't want to walk all day with the food sitting inside there because it might create some you know problems for your teeth in the long run so you don't want that um, if you're at work you don't have brush just take them off eat and then rinse your mouth really thoroughly if you want to bring a small travel brush with you and a toothpaste travel size bring it and you can do it in a toilet just brush your teeth i just rinse my mouth i make sure that i don't have any food anywhere i thoroughly thoroughly rinse my mouth i also rinse my invisalign and then i put it back in in the morning i brush my teeth uh, at evening before bedtime I brush my teeth and I brush Invisalign. Invisalign can get very yucky towards the end of the week you will find a lot of like food getting stuck to it so just make sure to brush it from inside and out to prevent the grow of and layering of food on it every single day so that's why I like to brush it um, what else about it yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, it's not very hard to care for it but you need to wear it all day and you have to sleep with it it says in a brochure that the maximum amount of time that you can stay off it like you can take it off and keep it out uh, for two hours do not keep it off your teeth more than two hours a day so that would be like a total amount of time uh, per day that you would take to eat to drink whatever in terms of drinking if you drink wine you have to take it off if you drink coffee tea soft drinks that has color in it uh, slurpees all of that you have to take it off because it's gonna stain obviously if you by accident add curry while it's on expect it to be yellow or green you don't want to do that so any spices that has a uh, tendency to stain things do not do it you know do not eat it while you have it in, in your mouth take it out try not to forget or you might taste something somewhere when you are at the friend's house you know if they have spices just take it out just go to the bathroom take it out that's about it i would say like the most uncomfortable thing is if you're at the restaurant you need to go to the toilet take it out there and then come back so you don't do it in front of everyone 
then finish food, go to the toilet, rinse your mouth, put it back in, in the toilet, come out, you know, it's all done. You don't want to do it in front of the people, it feels super uncomfortable, but in general, I would say that's the hardest part. In terms of pain, just go through it in the beginning, then you should be fine. Yeah, so that's pretty much my dental journey at the moment, guys. I thought I will share with you. Also, Hum and Denticare, they do have apps which you can install on your phone and you can just see how much you have paid already off, how much remains to pay, when is the next payment. Super easy. It's like literally after pay, very similar. And they send you SMS every, I think, uh, no, I think it's like two days prior for every payment that you need to do. So two days prior, they will send you an SMS saying that please make sure that you have sufficient funds on your nominated bank account because the payment is due da -da 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 on that day. So it's very comfortable, very comfortable as a reminder. That's pretty much it, guys. I will leave the... Uh, details about the dental company that I go to in the description box below. They are located in Bundle Gold Coast. If you are interested to go and see Dr. Urban, he is great. They also do face injections, which I don't do. I don't put anything into my face, but they do this service there as well if you are interested. Yeah, so that's my dental journey. I'm so happy that now in Australia, more and more dental companies are actually offering this type of repayment plans because when you talk about the major um, work done to your teeth, like crowns, veneers, you know, Invisaligns, these services and these products are so, so expensive. And the question is how many people actually have that money saved to be able to pay it from their pocket? Not much, right? Not many people can actually afford this. So now more and more companies are starting to offer these repayment plans with zero interest in it, up to two years to make your life more or less comfortable. So you don't have to rush into like three months to repay everything. You can stretch it all up until two years, still be able to travel, you know, have fun in your life, uh, allow yourself other expenses as well. So I'm really happy that we're actually improving a little bit. It would be also great if the prices would drop for this type of services, but probably that will never happen because dental being always very expensive as far as I remember myself alive. <laughs> but yeah, at least we have some pro progress. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions in regards of I just mentioned in this video, leave your, com leave your questions in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them and I will see you in my next videos. Bye!